A Florida jury has awarded the widow of a chain smoker who died of lung cancer 18 years ago record punitive damages of more than $23 billion in her lawsuit against the R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company, the nation's second biggest cigarette maker. Cynthia Robinson of the Florida panhandle city of Penascola sued the cigarette maker in 2008 over the death of her husband, Michael Johnson, claiming the company conspired to conceal the health dangers and addictive nature of its products. The judgment, returned on Friday night, was the largest in Florida history in a wrongful death lawsuit filed by a single plaintiff. This verdict is clearly uh, it's going to send a message uh, to the big tobacco companies and not only to tobacco companies, but to, to all of those companies that feel that, for whatever reason, uh, uh, profits uh, come before people and safety, and uh, that's just not the case. Johnson, a hotel shuttle bus driver who died of lung cancer in 1996, aged 36, smoked one to three packs a day for more than 20 years, starting at age 13. After a four-week trial and 11 hours of deliberations, the jury returned a verdict granting compensatory damages of $7.3 million to the widow and the couple's child, and $9.6 million to Johnson's son from a previous relationship. The same jury deliberated for another seven hours before awarding Robinson the additional sum of $23.6 billion in punitive damages. And it's not about the appeals, it's not about the money. We've made a difference already. I think less people are going to smoke. I think that the tobacco companies are going to get their act together. They're going to make safer cigarettes. We know they can. They'll just make a little bit less money, but we'll save a whole lot of lives. And that's what it's all about. And the appeals and all of the legal issues will take care of themselves. You know, we've been struggling with this case now for over almost seven, eight years. So, you know, we're not going to throw the towel in. And, you know, if the bell rings again, uh, we'll be standing in the middle of the ring.